Okay, so the fourth problem says to write a recursive function called reverse, which accepts a string and returns a new string in reverse. So for example, if we had the word happy, then the reverse of that would be YPPAH, right, like this. So um, we're going to, like any recursive function, we're gonna have a base case. So our base case, and this, this assumes that you understand how to use slice. So if you don't, you need to look that up on MDN. So, um, so this assumes that you understand how slice works. Okay, so here we're going to take it, uh, we're gonna take our string, so this is gonna be our base case. Um, and what we wanna do is if our string that we've passed in, the length of it is equal to zero, then what we're gonna pass back is an empty string like this. So that's our base case. Otherwise, what we wanna do is we want to reverse we're going to call ourselves, so reverse, we're going to recurse. And what we're going to do is we're going to slice a letter off of our string. So, and I'll step through how this works. We're going to take our string and we're going to call that slice function and we're going to slice the very first element off of our string. And in addition to that, we're going to take the result of that and we're going to add it on to the very first character of our string. So strings can be kind of considered like arrays, and this means it's the very first character of our string. So let's see how this works, walking through the call stack. All right, so if we have a, if we want, if we call reverse with happy, like the string happy, right? Um, and we want to reverse this, then, so here's our string. It's gonna test the length of that string, which is not zero, so we haven't reached our base case yet. So then we get down to the recursive part, right? So we're going to call reverse again, but this time we're going to pass in a string for, so the slice takes off the, the very first uh, character of a string, so we're saying slice off the very first character of the string, and use that as an argument for um, the reverse function, right? And then we're gonna concatenate that on with the very first character of our string. So at this point right here, our string is happy. So the very first character of that is H. All right, so then we're gonna, we're gonna our, we call reverse. And um, so this one, uh, so we're gonna call reverse again. And this time our string is APPY, right? So again, the length of that is not zero. So we are going to come down here and recurse again. So we're gonna call reverse again. This time we're gonna slice off from this string. So slicing off from this string is gonna give us PPY. And then this is our input string right here. So that means the very first character of that input string is A. So again, we're going to call our function. This doesn't meet that condition. The, so we're gonna recurse again. So reverse, and this time um, our string that we're going to pass to our new recursion is PY because we're gonna slice off that first character. And then we're gonna concatenate on the very first character of our input string, which is P. So again, our function is gonna come here, doesn't meet this case, so we're going to recurse again. This time, we're gonna slice off again that first character and we're gonna concatenate on the first character of our input string, which PY is our input string at that point. So it's going to be P, right? Then we get down here, our still our length of our string, since so our input string is not zero. So we're gonna recurse one more time. So we, we do reverse. We're gonna remove that first character, which is then gonna give us an empty string plus and then that first character we're gonna add right here, right? So now we finally get down to a point where we have a reverse of an empty string. So at this point, we were gonna return an empty string. So that means the recursion of an empty string is going to be an empty string. So at this point right here, the value of, uh, so this right here is the recursion of this function right here, right? So this is the result of this function. So this right here is gonna give us 
Y because an empty string plus Y concatenated on with Y is just Y. So this is the value sitting on our call stack is waiting the value, the return value of the reverse of Y, which the reverse of Y is just Y. So this is the value of this right here. This right here, this function right here, the value of it is this right here. So that means that we can now say that the value of this is going to be Y, concatenated it on with P, which gives us YP. So now we have the, uh, the result of this, right? So the, rever the recursion of this right here, the result is YP. So, um, right, so the reverse of PY is YP. So, um, so now we have that value. So we're gonna replace it with YP with this right here, because that's, that's the recursion, or that's the reverse of that. So we get YP, YP added on with P right here is going to be YPP, right? So now we have the, uh, the result of this right here. Um, so the recursion of, or the reverse of PPY is YPP, right? So we're going to replace that YPP here and we're gonna concatenate on A, so we get Y, P, P, and then A, right? So now we have the re reverse of this A, P, P, Y, which is Y, P, P, A. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna replace that here, and what we're gonna get is Y, P, P, A plus H, which is our reversed string, right?